welcome to the Jimbo Fisher College Show. Good to see everybody here, and welcome to you watching on ABC 27. And, Coach, <coughs> the cake is because your birthday is tomorrow, but happy birthday a day early, okay? <laughs> Thank you. And Thank we'll you sing happy birthday a little later on. What do you think? Uh, congratulations. I know Thank 50 you. wins uh, in less than five years is a tremendous accomplishment. Congratulations on Thank win you. number 50, Jimbo Thank Fisher. You. Thank you. I didn't even realize it until they, people brought it up, but... When you have good people around you, you get good players, and I uh, got a great organization. It, it's it's fun to be a part of. And uh, I guess that was the early birthday present from your team. Coach. Exactly right. Uh, I'll take some late ones too. Yeah, one eight seven seven ninety nine Knowles toll free number one eight seven seven nine nine six six five three seven. If you want to talk to Coach Fisher tonight, give Jimbo a call or hashtag Jimbo. That'll connect you to our call in show on this. That's a good looking cake. I think that was the uh, uh, four points by Sheridan uh, baked this special for thank you. Thank you coach. very much. I thank him very much for that. And somebody, and that mean, somebody you all this weight, somebody, somebody else gonna have to eat it. Jim. Yeah, somebody. We're, we're losing all the weight. Somebody else gonna have to eat it. Uh, are you ready for uh, uh, 40, <laughs> 4, 43 to three? Mm -hmm. And uh, in that first half, uh, uh, you know, folks take for granted that Wake Forest is Wake Forest. That defense was about as hard hitting defense as I've seen us play this year. Wake Forest is one of the best defense. I don't. I'm not gonna say the top, but could be. I mean, I don't in comparison, but they're as good as anybody we played on defense, and we knew going in they're very good. They have outstanding secondary. Uh, did a great job up front with blitzes, and then you know, we turned the ball over early a couple times, and then they, they come through with some blitzes, and we had a center hurt, so we had to get our feet back on the ground. Then we lost our best receiver, lost our starting tailback, and then overcame all those things. And, again, our team, those young players on our team are really stepping up. And like I said earlier, how we developed was going to be how those guys could provide depth or when injuries occurred, and, and I'm very happy with where we're at with those guys right now. It adds up to 21 straight wins. What do you think about that, Seminole fans? 21 in a row, 18 ACC game victories in a row, and uh, I guess that's what folks want to talk about. You ready for your calls? Let's go. All right, let's talk to, uh, hey, guess what? Mike from Jacksonville is our first caller of the day. Okay, there you go. Mike, you're on the air. Touchdown, Florida State. <laughs> Good. Uh first of all, coach, let me congratulate you. Congratulate you on fifty wins as a head coach and uh I'm gonna go into my stat here and then question on follow up right behind it. Now something that kinda of stood out to me was their number Turkey is number nine in the country in sacks allowed. They hardly don't give up any sacks, like mm. three total. Now I'm gonna go right into Feather. I'm turning into be a play it fan of this. He, <laughs> Coach, for us, it's unorthodox for Florida State to get somebody much less than North Carolina, 6'7", 230. I just want to know your your thought, thoughts and and bearing out against what really is known for defensive ends, how you kind of got to get him pre prepared for that, and also him being a freshman. Well, right? I mean and I'll listen to your question. All right, you're right. Syracuse doesn't give up many sacks. They do a great job of getting the ball out, and uh, they run the ball a lot, but they you know, they get it out of there and do a great job protecting. But Lorenzo is a very unique guy. He's 6'7", about 230 pounds. I mean, he can jump. He's a basketball guy who played football a couple years, uh, can really jump, probably about 38, 40-inch vertical, uh, but runs. He's very unique for a tall guy, great bounce and explosion, and he's just, as he continually gets stronger. But the thing about him, he's very – the fast twitch muscle fiber allows him to be physical when he plays. And, you know, he made a few mistakes. He got – he lost contain once or twice, but – those are growing pains you're going to have to go through with a young player. But the good thing about it, when he comes off the field, whether he does very good, a lot like Jameis was as a young guy. In other words, when he comes off and he does good or he does bad, he can tell you exactly what he saw, what happened. And so those guys can usually learn very quickly. And he's a very intelligent young man. And, again, I think he has a tremendous future, and I'm glad he's on our team. Okay. Uh, Mike from Jacksonville, appreciate the stat of the week. Yes, Syracuse protects. They, they run the ball a lot. They, they, they've got dual-threat quarterbacks, so they're not standing in that pocket waiting for you to – Tackle and Bill is next, and Bill is from Tampa. Go ahead, Bill. You're on the air with Jimbo. Well, good evening, uh, Coach and Gene. Uh, congratulations on the uh, win against Wake Forest. Good luck Saturday at Syracuse. Thank Two you. questions for you. Mm -hmm. we have, we, it's no secret we have a heck of a weapon in Roberto Aguayo. Yep. Uh, but his job is pretty well defined. Just go out there and kick the ball. But is it more sophisticated than that? In other words, what does Roberto go through? Uh, during the week in practice, you know, other players are learning plays and that sort of thing. So what does he have to go through uh, during a week of practice? And secondly, uh, Syracuse has their injury problems, notably a quarterback, and they made a change at offensive coordinator. So how does that affect what we are game planning uh, coming into that game? Roberto does. I, I say this all the time. He's extremely talented. 
extremely confident, but at the same time, he works as hard as anybody on our team. And what you don't realize, how good of an athlete he really is. One of the things about kickers that people don't understand is the guys that are great kickers, balance is very critical for a kicker, just like for a quarterback. Talk about how they run, but balance and body control, and he can, that core stability, and Roberto is a very strong guy in the weight room. He was an excellent soccer player, I mean, a field player. Mm -hmm. uh, but then his work, he, he, I mean, he's a guy used to overwork. And I think, you know, being around Dustin helped him how it, the limited number of kicks he has during the week to so make sure he gets the proper work but not too much work. But then he does a lot of one-step kicking three. I mean, he, it's, he's got a complete routine that he goes through every week. And he can tell you when he's a hair off, a hair on. I mean, he, he has a great feel for his own ability. And a lot of guys don't do that. A lot of guys can't tell you, well, I, I'm off here, I'm on here, I, I, I'm a little weak here. He has a great intel of his own self, which is, to me, one of the most critical things any athlete can have. He understands himself and how you know where his body is and how hard he has to work on a day. Or, Coach, I may need a couple less kicks. Okay, that's fine. I mean, and we go through that routine. But he's one of the hardest workers on our team and a true team leader. Our team has tremendous respect for him. And, you know, going through Syracuse as an offense coordinator, they do. I mean, you have to research some of his background and what he does. But at the same time, then you have to look at the two quarterbacks he has and what you know what their talents are. We've seen one of them play on film in two games against Villanova and in the last game. They play he played a little bit of extensive time against Villanova in the, in the opener because the quarterback also got hurt in that game or he got thrown out of that game, I believe, and then uh, got hurt in the last game. So we have film of him. The young guy is a very athletic guy, so we'll have to play it. But you know, nowadays you're having to play all the wildcat stuff and the quarterback run stuff. So we have a lot of schemes in our defense to be able to do that. And we'll have to, to play accordingly, and then we got to play it by ear. You got to kind of go into that game. Just waiting to see what you know how they do and be able to make adjustments and hopefully we we'll teach very conceptually, so we can have adjustments built into our defense and you know Coach Kelly will do a great job. The uh, Syracuse Orange uh, in the overtime game of Villanova they had a fake field goal to win the game a touchdown so you got to be ready for some trick stuff I would think. Well they're they're going they're going to mean fake field goals fake punts you know onside kicks bloops you know reverses passes trick plays on offense I'm sure they're going to do all that and that's things that we're going to endure to me all every game all the time. And because of when you're a favorite or you're, you know, people going to do things, they have nothing to lose. They can play very loose. And like I said all year, now this team does it, but we, we play five teams that have off weeks before us. So, I mean, that's, that's a big adjustment having to go in where they get two weeks to prepare for you before, you know, you go in there. So sometimes in those first quarters, like, for instance, NC State, there was a lot of things we hadn't seen before. Then we made adjustments, and, and you know, our team persevered. So it's going to be, you know, those are always going to be huge challenges. All right. Hey, Bill from Tampa, thanks for your telephone call. That opens up a line, one eight seven seven ninety nine Knowles toll free or hashtag Jimbo uh, via Twitter. The state capital, historic sites, great nightlife, outstanding restaurants, and relaxing hotels. So like the share of four points. To discover all that the Tallahassee area offers, join us online at visittallahassee.com and plan your escape today. Soon you'll be saying, I heart tally too. You heart tally? I bet you heart tally. The Jimbo Fisher College Show presented by Naples and Infinity. Live from the Four Points by Sheridan will continue after these messages.